Hello, thanks for stopping by. A few days ago, Don from Restore Old Radios put up a video where he was showing how he was using his signal tracer to take and find the uh, outside foil on uh, modern capacitors. You see from the picture here on the older capacitors, they used to take and mark it with, uh, either with a, a black band like that or some of them just uh, it was printed red on the paper outside foil end. Um, and he was talking with uh, Doug Moslack and uh, was wondering whether our tracer, you know, would do the same thing. Now, where I live here, uh, I, I live in a, in a 60 hertz noise box. Uh, my outside wall here has uh, seven electric meters on it for, for uh, both sides of the building I live in, too. And, and uh, right under the floor here is the seven circuit breaker boxes. So I have trouble fil filtering out the hum. But uh, even given that, uh, I'm going to demonstrate in a few minutes that uh, the art, art tracer does do the same thing. Uh, because I have so much noise here, if I put my hands anywhere near the capacitor or whatever, it, it would just take and, and, and pick it up like crazy. So what I did was take and make a little switching arrangement pictured here uh, using a double pull, double throw switch. So I could just take and slide the switch back and forth and uh, switch which end of the capacitor is uh, grounded uh, without putting my hands near it and uh, negating the test. Uh... So that being said, uh, let me show you uh, how the test went, and then I'll be back. Okay, this I have a function generator hooked up through a switch, so I can take and switch the sides back and forth, like I showed in the diagram. And I have our tracer here. Um, this is a 22 nanofarad capacitor. You can just barely hear it now. Take and switch sides. You can see definite dif difference in volume. So the way I have it wired, that means that uh, for me the left hand side is the uh, is the outside foil because when I take and ground that side, the noise goes away. Let's change. Let's put this one in. And as you can see, it's the same thing. When I take and ground the left-hand side, it goes away now. Today can prove that that's what's working. Let's take and switch it around the other way. Now I have to ground the right-hand side to make the noise go away. So now the right-hand side is the, is the outside foil. So, like Don showed it in his vehicle, it is a valid way of finding out, at least on some capacitors, uh, where the outside foil is. And I did find that on some of the thinner capacitors, I think because they are so thin, the signal will take a leak through either way. Okay, so as you can see, and as Don showed, it is a, a you know a very viable test, you know, and, and a good way to uh, uh, take and check the capacitors. Uh, like I said in the video portion, there I did find it's on some of the smaller capacitors. I think because they're so small, that enough of the noise, if you will, leak through that uh, you you really can't tell. But I think that's one of the differences and probably one of the reasons they don't mark them anymore. You take and you look at the capacitors here, the, the modern capacitors are so much smaller 
than the old capacitors used to be. That uh, there's so much less outside foil to take and pick up the signals, and especially if you take and get it, you get into the, uh, the the drop type capacitors like the bottom one in this picture. Uh, there's you know so little foil there that you know you're not going to pick up anywhere near the noise that you would have in the old days when they you know the the capacitors were immense. And uh, but still, you know, it, it, it you know it, it's a, a good habit to get into, especially like in in high end audio equipment or uh, e even some of the radios or whatever. You know, that you you could take and introduce you know some hum if the capacitor was taken placed in backwards, and it's simple enough to take either using this method or using you know the oscilloscope method that. Uh, Paul from Mr. Carlson's lab showed. So Don, yes, it does work fine. And uh, thanks for showing us how to do it. I think that just about wraps it up for today. Everybody have a good day. Thanks for stopping by.